Hello and welcome back to City Bus Manager. And here we are once again back in the fabulous Swansea with our company Dave Coach. So in the last couple of episodes we've had a couple of good productive sessions. In one of them, episode three, two ago now, we put in a much larger filled out customer service centre down here, which I think is looking quite nice. And then in the last episode, episode four, Sunday Fun Day, we made the most of the benefits of having a Sunday service where we have maybe a third of the buses out on the road at any one time and we exploded our network so if you look at it now we have a whole bunch of new routes out over here over here over here so yeah like a good sort of three or four sort of new routes coming in and we now have 10 or so well 11 routes i suppose now we've got that one there with the uh, public service line coming down over here that's what we did last time however I I've all already allocated most most of our LFSs, so all we have left now to allocate are our 0405s and stuff. So we're probably going to need a big need a bigger fleet or have our fleet filled out a bit more. And we also have this uh, this um, bus here that we need to allocate. And we have allocated every single one of our new Ramesses on it. So I either have a, ch a choice of our one and only Sotero or Citro, which I'm saving for um, doing like the night service, which this won't get in the way of at all, or we have our 0405s. I'm going to assign the Citero on it for now, and now we're going to talk about what the main objectives for this mission, for this mission, for, for this episode are. So first thing that I want to get, first thing I want to do in this episode is one, I want to stress test our customer service center. We didn't have a full chance to do this yesterday or in the last episode on the Sunday because everything on Sunday is just toning down a little bit. So having a full fleshed out busier network and everyone coming here for their uh, weekly tickets and stuff. So we want to see how this holds up and hopefully we won't have a massive queue. What I will do before the center opens up is I will put in some of these information boards in here. If I can get them up next to the door, I want one either side. Putting stuff on the walls can be very difficult in this game. Come on, you can do it. Let's try this side, would that be easier? No. Nope. It appears it doesn't want to be where I want it to be. Let's try rotating it. Oh, there we go. And can we do one this side? No, nope. by the door if I can. Let's rotate it the other way. Right there next to the door, like the other one. I want to... No, 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 no. We want it. There we go. Well, that was nice and easy, wasn't it? Straightforward as always. And we'll put one on the back wall. I should put two on the back wall with one space in between. There we go. Nice and balanced. And then that should open up in a couple of hours' time, and we will have see how that gets on. So that's one. That's one thing that we want to do today. Uh, task two is to fill out our fleet. And probably our depot too to get a few more bays going on down here and stuff so we can get the new buses in. We're going to have to try and target a few more new Ramesses and probably a few more uh, larger buses. And then the next thing and the final thing that I want to achieve is to get a few more trophies in here. So to do this we're going to have to complete these missions down here. So if nearly finished this one carry 14,000 passengers. We only need another 2,000 passengers. And hopefully that shouldn't take us too long to complete. And this one is just carry 1,600 passengers in one day. Now the reason why, as I nearly showed you earlier, is if I scroll down here to the bottom, I want it unlocked. Shift scheduling. Uh, now I hope I said that correctly. If I had to record this once already because I mispronounced the, this word here. Shift. So I'm going to really, really concerned saying shift schedule. I hope it doesn't sound like something very rude that I have to believe out. Anyway, in my last series on uh, with Stephen Co, when we were doing in uh, Exeter, I came to this very late, so we already had a massive network going on and a huge number of buses, and it just made it a long-winded, tricky process to try and bring it into a schedule so that I wasn't just constantly allocating buses non-stop. I mean, I know everyone likes watching the buses being allocated and seeing which driver goes where and doing the cleaning and the washing and the rest of it, but it does slow down how much time you can spend in actually growing the company. 
So hopefully, if we come in today, if we get this started nice and early, we can and stay on top of it. We can be very, very organised. Now I've not done anything towards this, just setting anything up. Really, I have ideas in my head. I mean, I suppose they labelled the routes as small buses and big buses, but yeah, that's what that that is what we're aiming for. So for that, we need 175. Otherwise, at some point we're going to come through. Well, oh, look at that. We have completed our 14,000 routes. So if I come back in here, we now have lots of things that I can research. So I'm going to research another solo bus. I'm going to research um, upgrades there. Um, reduce repair times by 10%. Yes, why not? I'm sure, I'm sure we're going to have a lot of buses to repair. And we'll save doing these for another time. But coming back up to the top, why not? We'll research articulated bendy buses because they are fun and uh, because these are free we will research these two too happy days anyway we are now six minutes in and you are still waiting with bated breath for your swansea fact so let's let's do that and today is the tourism round or the tourism fact day we might come back to this in the future but how many tourists do you reckon Swansea gets on average every single year? So for the second largest city in in Wales after Cardiff on the south coast, how many tourists do you reckon it gets? Put your guesses in the comments down below. I'll give you a few seconds while we just watch these buses mill around a bit. Okay, I will tell you. It is 4.79 million according to Google. Which I can't work out if it's more or less than I expected. Um, because it's, this is not a city that I've ever thought about going to. For, well, ever ever really. But I don't know if that's a lot or not. Um, I mean, good on them. But where, where are these tourists going? That is probably what you want to know now. And is it worth becoming one of those basically just under 5 million tourists? So, number one. So, Searching top sites in Swansea on Google gives us the National Waterfront Museum, which I believe is situated down here. Oh, there it is, the National Waterfront Museum. Then we have LC Swansea, which is um, over here, which I think is just Leisure Centre Swansea. Makes sense to call it, makes sense it is that. So we've got the Leisure Centre over here. And um, that looks pretty cool. We've got lots of water slides going on in different pools. It's more than just like, a community pool for doing your swimming practice in. It looks like it could be a good fun day out. Next we have Swansea Marina, which I guess is just this marina down over here. We've got like boat tours and stuff going out along the coast. So yeah, we've got the tour river cruises and all sorts coming out, which will be nice. Number four, and this one I think looks the coolest and it's actually tempting me to come to Swansea quite a lot. And I will put pictures up as I talk about this one, if I remember, in the editing, and just to show you what the outside looks like and some of the inside pictures, because this place, Planetasia Tropical Zoo, which is situated here in this sort of commercial shopping area, it looks amazing. Just have a look at it. Like, yeah, I am very tempted to come here. It's just cool and more cool, top notch. I would like I would I would go to that and then the final one number five on the list is the Glyn um, Bavarian Glyn Vivian oh sorry the Glyn Vivian Art Gallery which is over here there you go so what would be quite nice actually sometimes with this if you clicked on some of these um, click, click you clicked on these icons if it would open up information or tell you stuff about it because clearly I think this is just like a Google Maps sort of overlay or like some form of maps overlay which they've just taken and just found a way found a way to turn into the games like this anyway this is the, um, a nice art gallery it's not as cool as, Plan as Plantasia but anyway that is where they are all going. Okay, let me know which, you recommend, which one would be cool to go visit. And if you agree with me that Plantasia here would be pretty damn cool to go see. Anyway, we have another one of these um, Swansea 11s to, to allocate. So is there a bus back here for it? No, not yet. But our depot 
I don't know, our service centre is open and it is serving lots of people, like they were all fairly, well, say they were all fairly busy and um, it seems to be coping well, it's handling that. So that might be tick for number one. I just assign that one to your back in. That this might be well done. Our service centre is handling everything that we have going on. So number two was to build our depot. But first, let's see what everyone is saying in here. So we have uh, Sandrine Cruz, bus driver. I also have a private life that's not working out that way. Okay, so you probably want us to hire some more staff. That's probably fair with the expansion that we have just undergone. What are you saying, Nicolaj Wilkler? The payment is pure impudence. <laughs> yeah, I'm not paying you very much. But then you're not very friendly, so I don't want you to stay around and I'm trying to price you out of a job because I am a good, compassionate manager like that. Anyway, let's buy some more buses. But before we do that, we're going to probably need some more spaces for our um, buses to park into. So we'll have all of our new Ramses, hopefully, parking along here and we can free up those medium bays for more new Ramesses and the like. We are still a way behind on um, getting the, that next round of um, solo buses, so we'll speed things up. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go a bit crazy and I'm going to put some large bays along here. As we're, as we're researching those bendies, we might as well have the possibility to bring them in if we need them. Anyway, what I'll do now is I'm going to come into the second hand and as usual what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and buy as many new Ramses and LFSs and stuff as possible but so these are going to offer in at half value and hopefully they'll accept it so he accepted that one same with the LFSs I'll give those a half thing he rejected that one unfortunately and then everything else like the Soteros and the Masters and the Sprinters I will offer in as low as possible if they accept it good I will then sell them afterwards for profit but if not, it'll free up another new Ramses where I can put in an offer which hopefully they won't reject. But unfortunately he did. So I'll be back in a moment when that is all sorted. And once I have assigned another bus on one of these. Anyway, let's do this. Okay, so we've got a few new buses in. And we are nearly at our 16,000 passengers carried in one day. So we'll just assign this one quickly, get him out on the road again which is quite nice considering it's not well it's only just 12 in the afternoon and we've nearly finished that one off so what we're doing now is we get all of these buses either sold for the ones that we need to sell and then um, repaired up for the other ones so I'll just quickly do that in a nice little montage Now that we have flown through repairing and putting those up for sale, we've got a whole bunch of the afternoon shifts to sort out. It's two o'clock and all of these need organising. And we are going to be putting out all of the um, 0405s, even though they're not painted up yet, we'll get them going. We are waiting on a few small buses to come back in. So there we go. As they come back in, we will just allocate them as they come through the gate even some of those ones they're ready up oh, there he is he's ready you can take that one boom yep yeah, and you cool oh and nope these are a couple of biggies we'll get those sorted big 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 uh we'll just chuck out a few of anything at the moment oh, there's another one anyway you get the picture oh chase them get them get them allocated don't let them get away all the way get them done Maybe a couple more buses would be useful. Okay, so that's got a lot of those buses assigned. Let's see what we've got in our marketplace. We've got a few... I only got, they said they had five, but apparently we only have the two. I'll take that offer. You're offering me too low. I won't take that one. Just please come back with some better offers in the future. We're just going to use that money to try and buy a few more buses. By the look of it, we just need a bit more of everything. So we've nearly got our 
next lot of buses unlocked so let's see what we can pick up in here second hand no offers in there no yes so let's second hand you so we've got a few more new buses coming coming in so we'll just have to get these all fixed up oh, there's one of them and we're making good progress towards our 175 but we should be able to complete this one soon with the um, 777 active weekly ticket holders we only need another 25 and if you look in here he well, he's buying one with well, the rest of all game oh there we go another couple buying so we are moving up on moving on up towards that fairly quickly anyway these all need repairing still oh an 0405 what's what oh and an urbino 12 so the 0405 looks basically the same as the nh um, it's got the same passenger capacity and the same seating capacity it costs the same and it looks pretty much the same the urban 18 it looks quite nice 140 same number of seats so cool we might be using those a bit in the future do we have a bus for you yeah you can go on that one you're doing your thing You've done your thing. Hmm, I thought we had a few more buses coming in. Oh, maybe they're over here. I got them all into the fixie fixies area. Now it's time to probably start painting all of these buses. So anything that's not painted, I will send it to the paint shop. for the next lot to come in what I'm going to do is I'm going to research another solo bus a double decker bus and better food for our staff and I'm just going to keep waiting to get over here oh but here comes another bus in it goes and there we go And we'll get you cleaned up and ready to go. Can I get you painted yet? Yes, you're on the queue for the paint list. I suppose you guys need a fuel and a wash and a clean. It's been a busy day. And I'll put you back on this Otero. Didn't see a bus over here that looked like it needed some help. Yeah, look at that. It's smoking away. What's wrong with you? Oh, your indicator has gone, which looks like you're now on fire, which always makes sense. So let's get you into the line of repairs. And while we get you repaired, we might just clean and wash and fuel you. Happy days. So yeah, it's eight o'clock. We're coming towards the end of the day. I don't think in Monday we're going to hit our 175. Um, we still need to get another another 23 um, trophies to reach the um, level that can unlock the shift scheduling. So while we're waiting for that, that's probably going to have to happen tomorrow. Now we haven't. It's getting quite late in the day, and we won't have time to get to get that many more today. So we'll just clean up and wash and fuel our fleet. We'll finish off painting the buses. There's not many more to go, just check that they're all in there. But what we will do is um, upgrade them. So we'll get the air conditioning and the passenger information system on all the buses. Just have some uniformity over the um, over the fleet. 
And as we go through, we will check for repairs too. But don't over repair it if that bit is highlighted red or just completely broken like the wipers or the lights. And otherwise, we'll just make do for that. And uh, it's still got a bit of life in them. What are people saying in here, in the inbox? Once we have painted this, there we go. And back to the inbox. Edward bus driver, we're going to pause it. I think there's a bus going straight there for the clean. Hey boss, I hope we can maintain the current circumstances. I'm really happy at the moment. Okay, that's good. Hopefully that means from this morning with those two, people are happier now. And the researcher, good day boss, current workload is simply too high for me. I won't be able to keep it up in the long run. Please reduce my workload. But you've not done any research in a long time. So you're just going to have to like it and lump it for the moment. But, um, okay, we'll get you painted too. Then we have a, have a mostly painted, a mostly painted, um, fleet. I don't know why I was struggling with the word fleet there. Like, I just couldn't think of what that word was. And you can also be painted. That, I think, should have everyone, once we're through all of this, painted up. All nice like. I'm going to go to max triple speed as we're basically into the night service now. And we just want to get this all finished up, rattled through as quickly as possible because we probably won't really be achieving much more towards our trophies here until we have our morning service. So we currently don't have many buses out on the road at this time of night, I would have thought. What's the, what's the time? Yeah, it's 10.30, so all of our final services should now be kicking off. And this should basically then finish it up. There we go. We can see the buses coming back already, just popping back into the depot. Ready to, we need a clean and a wash and a fuel. And some of them would even need a quick paint job. Okay, so we just had a Citaro C2 and an Omni City unlock itself. So um, I'll come back and have a look at those another time. So now we've got to get everything ready for the morning. So that is finish up painting all these buses ready for the morning service and then just go through and clean and wash and fix and repair and everything else. And check, that the, check that all the drivers and staff are doing okay. Yeah, look, we missed that time jump already. We have shifts to assign in the morning already. We have the morning SW07 to go out. So we'll start assigning as we're going. There we go. So we've got the S's for the little bus and the B's for the bigger buses for the 0504 NH's and the LFS's. Whereas all those smalls will go on the new Ramses up there. We'll get that sorted quickly. Okay, so there we go. We have another service well not that we have another morning service sent out and that is looking very good so while we are waiting for the morning to kick off and the trophies to come in let's have a look at our public service lines and is there anything else that we can add in so the underground is it just a little late night route i think so it's connect the underground swansea which i believe is the bar over here to 292 buildings to one train station Friday from 7 minutes past 9 to 7 minutes past 3 every hour. So I'll accept that. I'm going to try and run a long ish line out from over here and we'll just come in sort of round past the bus station area but we won't get into the bus station, we'll be closed at night I'm assuming. And then we'll come out up over this way towards the train station. I don't need to come up this way because that's where our other late night bus is running. We'll just run all the way up here. I actually can just loop it. No, we're not going to go this way. Oh, okay. 
Let's try and delete these and get that and then unsquishify what we have going on over here. Ooh, BBC Swansea Studios. So that's more like it. I don't like it because it's coming down here and with the bus stop that we're not using yet, so we don't really want to pay for this. Instead, we'll just come up, come over to this one. Again, you'll do that loop around like the other one and just track back the way we came. And I'll get this one on the correct side of the road. And then you would loop around over here again and then down Argyle Street and all the way out this way and I'll come along this way we're going to run it all the way down here to the university so people from late night can can get back to the university if that is what they need and then we'll loop in here so we have the campus, so I'm going to assume that in here will be a whole bunch of um, a, um, student duty halls. We'll stop at both those stops, just so we can do the loop around hopefully. There we go. And then it'll track back out the way we came in. Along this way. And then we're going to break it no we, yeah we're going to come up over this way i mean we, we might as well come this way we've got we've got an hour on each loop to fill and then back up to finish the circuit off and this will be route 12 That's, um so it's underground underground 12 now let's see how many people are going to be using this. Advanced settings in just a moment. Ah. So take one bus with no one on it. Well that's going to be a money maker isn't it? But that's not my problem. So we'll wait at the bus station until 15 minutes have passed. Come down Picton Arcade. We'll do two minutes there. Um, and then where is it? Swansea University campus. We'll wait there for five minutes. And then we're back round to basically start up at the start. Confirm. Happy days. And we can go back to having some speed on that one. Is there anything else that I want to add in? Um, I've got a few buses going on. I think what I am going to do is edit one of these routes. So I, I was looking at the buses coming out over this way and some of these are getting quite busy. So we'll come back and check them in a moment. She so are the buses on route number one coming up over here. Like that one is full. So what I will do is route one. We're going to edit, not the timetable. Can I change that? No. So yeah, we'll edit here and I'm going to change this. So now route one is going to want big buses. So that should be nice. Uh, you are filling up quite a lot going along that way. Maybe you need to be deckers going this way because you are fairly full buses. Um, this service here coming out this way there's quite a lot of people using this service and that one which is busy you are not too bad maybe I would up the frequency of this one no I think I think you are you are all right so we would leave that be you are fairly full. Yeah, big buses on you coming forward. You are looking fine going up that way, past the accommodation. But you are very full coming out this way. So, yep, you are looking fine. Got a couple of buses coming out this way, going out this way. Hmm, it's a bit hit and miss how these ones 
fill up a bit. And it's only sort of busy for this section here. Now there was another route that I wanted to put in. So I'll pop that one in. So I want one to come up so sort of through the houses over here and to get that section which hasn't quite yet been covered off. So I will quickly smash that route in now. Ooh, route 13. Unlucky for some. Okay, so we're going to come up through the houses over here and just zigzag our way sort of wildly through them so we can cover off as many people as possible. In this loop here, we'll have our terminus as one of the stops through there, probably the primary school up the top left, and then we'll follow our way back in. Well, as much as we can, there's a couple of one way streets here that we need to sort of loop around, and then we'll just track it all the way back in once we pass there back into the bus station. We'll do this with a 15 minute later than usual, just so because we have the other routes going out there, I think it's 8 and 10 or 9 and 10, and so we can sort of space out the bus station departures so some people can have an, a more frequent service. We'll work out a few sort of timing points. The um, primary school at the end, which I will use as a timing point, I'll have that 30 minutes after departure from the bus station, and it works out that we have pretty much a one hour loop going on, and we'll just sort that out. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, so that's got another new route assigned. What message do we have here, bus drivers? Since I don't always complain, I want to tell you that I'm currently quite satisfied. That is good. Nice to hear. And it appears we have plenty of buses at the moment. We've got a good few spares. This is nice. Do you really want to cancel the shift? No, I don't. I want you to assign it. Almost clicked the wrong button. Happy days. It's coming along nicely. We are... Ooh. One second. I think our service centre is filling up. We're going to need more stuff. All the seats are filled and we've got a 45 minute wait. Right. So we were stress testing here and I think it has failed its first stress test. So we need uh, service centre employees. Who do we have here who is looking friendly and cheap? That is you, um, Gilamu King. Gilamu King. Oh, we need some more office space. Well, Gilamu King, we're throwing you straight in there at the deep end. Please get up there. Look at all those weekly tickets being sold. What I think we're going to have to do is put in some more office space, which we can't do it over here because I'm saving this space for a large lifting bay. I don't know about here, but having a long skinny one now is not what I want. I don't think it would look very nice, but I think what we'll do starting soon is over here, um, put in, like a, just put an, an, another, another office. So this would be more like a, um, more like a, what's it called again? Um, the word is eluding me. I like it, like a staff, like a staff room. Well, the one up here may be more of an office for dealing with the customer service centre and everything else. So, yeah, because I imagine the public would have less access to the one over here. So the drivers would have more chance to relax, more chance to unwind and prepare themselves for their next, for their next route. So once we have everything assigned, we will get that started okay so let's get this started what my idea is um well we've got a few more to assign and to fix as we just had one come in with a flat tire there so we will just chuck these out maybe i don't have as many spare buses as i initially thought i did anyway what i want to do is have an l shape of corridor going along the edge and sort of around the front we'll put a couple of double doors in at each end to give lots of access and then lots of windows along here. I'll put the windows in, not the door there. So we get, then we get lots of natural light into the corridor and that should hopefully de-stress our drivers because natural light is nice. Natural light is good. Natural light is king. Anyway, more buses to assign. Let's get them all out. So yeah, once again we are running out of our buses. I mean, we're not really running out. They're coming in as quickly as they're going out now, but we probably don't have as many spare or as many excess as we initially thought we did. So we'll start off by putting a toilet in. And we're going to do the same as with the last one. 
where it's sort of like a double toilet. We just have to imagine that there's a um, a dividing wall maybe down through the centre. Use our imagination. Um, and also, as usual, I am struggling getting these things to stick to the wall in the correct place. Um, we'll put these bushes in the middle where the wall is, just so they can sort of have a bit of the leaf leafage and foliage blocking the view. So as you are trying desperately to squeeze out that that poo, you're not having to stare at your colleague doing the same. Anyway, we'll stop talking about bathrooms and we'll concentrate on the kitchen. So we'll put one in over there. We've got the um, work surface where you can put all your dirty cups. Because let's be honest, who will ever does the washing up in the office kitchen? Nah. -uh. Anyway, we'll get that filtered. We'll then hire our staff. We'll get another customer service one to fill it out. And we get one more and we need to have more lockers. It's never ending. Bus allocated. What message do we have here? Uh, from Fixton. Dear sir or madam, since Fixton 06 is currently almost not used, we would ask you to make changes. Yours sincerely, Fixton. Look, it's not my fault that people don't want to use your bus at that time of night. And we are closing in now on our 175. All we need is this 13 here, I believe, and we will be to sell 13,000 tickets, which should be very possible. So if we look at our ticket sales, they have gone up quite a lot. I know if we check this yesterday, they had gone up 150% pretty much since on Monday from the Sunday with all the new routes that we've put in and the price drops. So we dropped the prices down to two euros, which is my quick terms of two pounds because we're in the UK and ticket prices are capped at two pounds for singles on like public bus services um, just to try and make it more affordable considering the extortionate cost of living at the moment, which is a nice idea. We are now on terms with that, so we are helping out the people of Swansea with lower ticket prices, which is hopefully encouraging more people to use to use our services. Anyway, so while we're waiting, we can get more we can get some of these lockers in, if that's what we need. Lockers are in here with the building section, not in our buying bus second hand quite nice if you could buy second-hand cheap lockers but, but we can't do that so we'll just have to you put put up with these bottle green dark green ones and we'll just put a run in the whole way up along here and I'll do this wall along here too while we're at it there we go and we'll just have a nice big plant pot in the corner to make things look nice happy days let's get those bus drivers in so as i was saying basically what we're looking at here is how cheap they are to hire and how friendly they are you can't teach friendliness but they do very quickly learn skill because we look at our current drivers like advanced already we only really be going for eight days and we already have a lot of advanced drivers so if we just hire anyone who is looking friendly and with a bit of skill but by the look of it we're just going to have to hire all these ones which are costing like 15 15 euros an hour which is more than I'd want to pay them but it's probably what they deserve to get paid as bus drivers we do get underpaid quite a lot I don't know why service centre employees are being paid more than the drivers. It's not like it's not like they deserve it, but well, it's not that they do deserve it. I suppose that's unfair of me to say. Anyone who works with the public deserves to get paid more than they currently are, because generally, I would say everyone is very much underpaid. But let's be honest, they're not having to drive a bus, which makes their job a whole bunch easier. Anyway, now that we have a whole bunch more staff in here, this queue is shrinking, so it's now only a 10 minute wait time, which is nice, which is good. So 11 service centre employees in there, we've upped that by four. We've got five new drivers. We could probably do with a few more cleaners with all of these buses too, because what's that? Oh, we've got four cleaners. We'll have five to make that a nice round number. I like multiples of five, 
And again, you are cheap and friendly. Under 11 euros an hour, you need to talk, well, you better not talk to the union because you might start getting ideas. And mechanics, is there the, is there the friendly mechanic here? We will hire him. There's not a friendly mechanic, so we'll take you because you're one of the friendlier ones and you're fairly cheaper under 13 euros. So Ivana, welcome to the team. Happy days. I demand a raise, Maxime Richer. Um, nope, you're not having it. I am sorry. You can leave if that's what you think. So, let's speed things up. And let's try and get these 13 points in. Okay, so it seems unlikely that we're going to get to our 175 um, trophies in this episode. We are still 13 short after all, and we have just ticked over to it being Wednesday. So what I'm going to do now, this is where I'm going to be ending the episode. So I'm going to do the usual thing where I go through, prepare the buses for the, the um, morning service. So it's going to be a clean, a wash, a fuel for everyone, and repair anyone who is damaged. He is fine with only his amber damage or amber wear and tear. It's I'll only replace when it gets red. So when it gets critical, yeah, definitely not going to happen. We've already got to start allocating the services for the morning. But that will be mainly done in the next episode. Because once again, this is where it ends. So enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy whatever you get up to. Uh, wish you all the best. And I hope to see you again in the next episode when... Touch wood, we really should be able to make that 175. Surely being only 13 trophies short is not going to be that hard. But we'll find out in the next one. Until then, it's bye from me. So, ciao for now.